Hello and welcome to episode 11 or season 2, episode 1 of our non-league to legend save here with Hemel Hempstead. Today we are at Jubilee Park for the start of the our second season in the Vanarama National League South. And it's Hendon. Uh, Hendon, newly promoted from... I don't know, some league. I should know because one of my friends plays for them, but... Um, from some league below us, the regional premier or something. So there are six players who are actually ineligible um, today for today's game. We have a brand new team uh, to show you pretty much. Uh, players you will recognise straight away, Asung Anyi, Ricky German, Liam Nash, Joe Felix, Allstate, Isaac Galliford and Connor Essam are all still here. Danny Bonds, Tyron Sterling... But lots of new players in. Um, the summer was crazy. Um, everyone left at the end of last season. And all of these guys have come in. Um, a couple of... Well, all freeze. No, no wages or no money spent on anyone. But firstly, the loanies. Uh, we'll, go, we'll take you through the loans first. So we got the lads back from last season. Asing Anyi and Ricky German. We also got Faisal... Betache, Nelson Agho, Luis Fernandez, Tyler Dickinson, Keenan, and uh, oh, that's it, and that's it. Keenan Afire, Forson, and Emmanuel Adibai were both on free transfers. So Tyler Dickinson is a young goalkeeper who is actually going to start for us this season. Luis Fernand Fernandez is a centre half, brought in kind of as cover, and um, we'll definitely get game time. Nelson Ago is another striker who is going to be in and around Asanganyi and Nashi Nash. And Faisal Bitache from Algeria. He is a very good centre mid. Uh, very good centre mid. He is currently operating at this level and it is decent. Um, some of the major free transfers then uh, from, from clubs. Two from Watford, one from West Ham. Keenan Afire Forson is a holder midfielder. Comes in on a free transfer is good if we uh, do end up playing holding midfielders and can play centre mid or centre back. Emmanuel Adebayi is a very good centre mid who's coming in. And Josef Ungbo is a winger and a very good one. Um, could be a League 2 winger in the future. Is easily our best wide man out there. Some other honourable mentions. A man I quite like, TQ Addy. Um, no games for he for Palace and joins Hemel on a free. Can play any of the front three positions, which makes him a valuable player for the club. And Alefe Santos, who has played a fair few games at League Two um, level and actually dropped 13 games for Aldershot last year. So he's a decent player and will be operating in the centre of the park with Faisal Batache. Uh, probably for most of the season. Most of these players, are, they're all from Championship or League One, so I'd really are uh, not getting games. This man, Lewis Walters, come in. We did panic a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Players, everyone left, and then we had brought in sort of this many, and then nothing happened for like two or three weeks, and then all of these guys come in. Um... And we're kind of sat there and I was sort of thinking, we're not going to get anyone in. And the season preview had us at, at 19th, it had us here. And we're kind of thinking, this could be really not good. Um, we're now up in third after all the signings have come in and, and everyone everyone's in at the club. But it was nervy um, for a little bit. But without further ado, it'll be our only game today. Um, we'll be there at the Hendon one, and then we'll be back to two episode, two game episodes after that. But this is gonna be Bar Ricky German's gonna play out here. This is the side that's gonna start today: Dickinson, Felix, Fernandez, Nditi, Tyne Morrow, Tani Morrow. Uh, in on left. Oh, do we start Tyron Sterling? You know what? We're going to start a couple of players that I'm used to. 
I was going to start Connor SM, but he's requested a transfer. Um, this is all done off camera. But we are going to start him. Um, see, this is where I get a bit scared of what I'm doing. Mungo Bridge. Right, that's how we're going to do it. Batashe, Adebayi, Afire Forsen, Ungbo, Asung, and Yee German. And then all of these guys, Liam Nashi Nash. Obviously makes the bench ahead of Ago. Galliford in instead of him. And then we're pretty happy. Another player you might have heard of, Sanchez Watt, uh, is in on a free, formerly of Arsenal. I don't think he ever actually played for Arsenal. Um, but made a fair few appearances in, in League One for Colchester and um, was at Hemel Hempstead a couple of years ago and is back. He probably won't play too much. But he was a nostalgia thing. Um, he was brought in literally as a nostalgia player. But here we go with the side that is projected to finish bottom of this league with only two players with actual faces. A front three of players that have just spawned in as Hendon youngsters, I think, this season. Well, a 27-year-old, a 22-year-old, and a 28-year-old who looks like he's one of the worst players I've ever seen. Uh, in up top for Hendon. They are projected to come bottom of this division. Um, and one can only assume we're going to have a good day today. And I really hope we do. We want to make a push for the playoffs in our second season. Um, if we don't, it might look like it could be time to, to look for a, a move away. As Asung Anyi, 25 seconds. That is the start of the season that you want for your striker. Uh, it was a toss up between him and, and Nash to start today in fairness, or Ago could start either one of those three, but Nashy Nash is on the bench and Asanganyi. Proving why he started against Hendon. Uh, we've already, we're already dominating the game and currently top of the league. It's only six minutes in, but yeah, we'll take it uh, for now. We really, would and it's I'm going to say it while they're attacking would like a clean sheet today as well but they are in at the fast stick and Bridge has done very well we don't want to give away a penalty there and he's done brilliantly to win it back but doesn't keep it as Campbell's ball is straight into Dickinson gave Besant a lot of praise before his howler in the playoff game as well he is uh, hopefully we've replaced him with someone who's going to be a bit more reliable than he was in that last game of the season for us as Hungerford take the lead. Ungbo throws one in. That's a great claim by Lynch who has a knock and it's an awful bit of distribution now. Ricky German's in. And again, we're going to demand more. We need more goals here. These are the games, although it's away from home, we need to come and really smash Hendon. Felix whips one in and why did the post again? Forson does well. Added by Ungbo. 21 minutes in. Oh my goodness. Ungbo's had an absolute shocker. And Smalley's in. I could save from Dickinson. Smalley's had an absolute shocker. To not capitalise there. And oh, blooming hell. They're getting on top of us a little bit here. We're going to go attacking. I cannot have Hendon getting back into this game. I'm probably going to be very frustrated at halftime if it's only 1-0. Not many sides ahead. Only six teams are ahead at the moment though, in fairness. Um, but at halftime, we are fuming. Um, I'm far from pleased. I'm not happy. 1-0 against the side who is I mean, they are, they are projected to come bottom and probably get well beaten in most of their games this season. So, not massively happy that they're still in a game of football after 60 minutes. Liam Nash is coming on for probably one of our only decent players. And Ungbo has not been too bad. We're going to bring them all off. All three subs. Oh, at Galliford on. We're going to go with some players that we've heard of um, from last season. Two of them, at least. Um with Clayton Phillips uh, having a chance to come on. 20 years old, non-contract from West Brom. What a signing that is. I want to get them going. Here's Clayton Phillips. Can the new front three do something? Nashy Nash 
drives away from one, finds Tyron Sterling, the the left back, good football, and then we just smash it straight at the goalkeeper. I mean, we'll take 1-0 if it's a clean sheet and a win, but Nash is in, Liam Nash, Nashy Nash. What a player. Liam Nash opens his account. 2-0. Wonderful little touch here. Galliford does well. That's a lovely touch. And as the goalkeeper goes one way, Liam Nash just bangs one down the middle. He's come on and done very well in Liam Nash. Three players... Well, two, two players that were here last season doing well on the pitch. Um, Sterling and Nashy Galliford with an assist and three Ricky German a fourth that was here last season Clayton Phillips off the mark assists wise as well that's what we want we want players off the bench to come on and I'll go wow okay maybe it was the wrong decision to play the geezer who played in front of you um, and then for the players that are on the pitch to stay in the team um, was it the right decision to play Ungbo over Phillips? And Phillips has gone, no, it wasn't. And he might be right as we're, we come away 3 0 winners in the end. And yeah, we'll let Joe Dini say he appreciates that because that wasn't terrible in the end. First half, wanted to be two or three up, ended up winning the game semi comfortably. You know what? It's not a bad opening, opening result, to be honest. Um,. One little thing to end on, um, before we get into the where we're going to go to, we're going to leave it till down here. We're going to try and get sort of nine, ten games in, and do it like that, and talk here in this league now, which is massive. But um, the wage budget is an absolute disgrace. Um, a lot of these players are non-contract, so it doesn't mean as much. But uh, ten thousand pounds a week on wages, and the wage budget is seven and a half thousand. So um. The financial projection is it's as bleak as it can get. Um, this season is a, I mean, it was at 68k. It's going to be at 1.3 million soon. We need a big FA Cup run this year. That's something to look out for this season. Um, but this year we are going to have a little look around. Um, there is nothing that we're even qualified for, maybe Yeovil um, it's got to be something that can really tickle our fancy and, and be realistic um, but it could happen this year if things aren't quite going the way that we want them to we got, we're getting the coaching badges and stuff going we are on contract till the end of this season so it would only be realistic if we can pick up more than that and we can get to where we need to get to or get a house where we need to be it might be time to have a little look so we are out of contract and there's nothing on the horizon financially from this club um, with what's going on we've completed our first coaching course and now there's no offering of a contract or anything yet so we'll keep an eye on that one um, because something could happen in the next few months of the season um, but if we're doing well we'll definitely be staying um, but if you did enjoy this episode the brand new season the 2020-2021 season opener please do drop a like subscribe comment dislike it hate it just just do something with it and uh, we'll see you next time